So along with the big aqua pack, which is on the back of the shiller with spare parts in, you don't need to worry about that. Along with the bucket and litter picker, you've got this orange bag. This has everything that we think you need to ride a leg on this water bike collective. So this is an aqua pack. Please don't move any of these. This is our Canal and River Trust registration number for the water bike. So it's a registered craft. Just leave it in this envelope. We appreciate it. Uh, you've got all kinds of little little paddle fittings on the outside of here. Feel free to use them. And also a handy little uh, zipped web pocket there for snacks and stuff. But uh, all the key stuff is inside. So you unzip the bag and you've got your life jacket. Please wear that at all times. You've got a spare aqua pack, uh, which is for your gear, but you can also use this bigger orange bag for that as well. Inside you've also got a handlebar bag. You've got the mount on the front, this on here, clips on, and then, boop, and then just pop that over there just to lock it. And to take it off, hold that down, and it's off. So in the handlebar bag, uh, it's mainly for your use for little snacks to keep you happy. A map case here, if you print out your map and you want to see that there, you could even put your phone in there and it's touch, touch through as well. In the little zip pocket, you've got an Allen key set in case you need to make any adjustments. Loads of lights in case you're going through a tunnel. Please light yourself up like a Christmas tree and be really visible. So there's a few lights in here, which are all clip on. So you can clip them onto your clothes, onto your life jacket uh, and some basic little tools should you need them, hopefully you won't. Make sure everything's zipped up and that, when you're ready to close it, those magnets just close it up. You might find some little snacks that the last rider has left for you. And then this is the important one, big blue kit bricks bag. This is waterproof, so if you've got so much gear that you can't fit it in your little spare aqua pack, you can take everything out and use this as well for your own stuff. You've got a key. So this key is for a bunch of facilities, so toilets sometimes uh, along the canals. Uh, also there's a security latch on some of the locks. If you can't open the lock in the normal way, use the key and it should pop it open. So that lives right in here. Tuck it away, please don't lose that. And now if you open up the Kitrix bag, there's a bunch of stuff. This is a windlass, which is a special key which opens the locks. Have a look at the lock opening films for that one. This is a tarp with some bungees inside. When you leave the water bike alone, the tarp can cover the bike and, and deter people from nicking it. If you don't have padded shorts, you might really like this. This goes on top of the seat, strap it in, and it just gives you a little bit of extra cushioning for your butt. Roller bin bags for when you're picking up all the litter. There's an old t-shirt here, just as a bit of a rag if you want to clean the Schiller bike. Sponge does exactly the same. This is like a chain, but it's carbon a few little bungees, some gaffer tape, because if anything goes wrong, all you need is gaffer tape. When you're in a tunnel, just be as bright as possible. So if your tiny little hands can fit in these, uh, wear these luminous gloves. There's a spanner to tighten up the pedals in there, and also some grease just to, just to put on the prop. There's also, from Power Traveler, this is an integrated battery. On a sunny day, feel free to open it up. It should be fully charged when you get to it, and just plug in your phone and that will charge it up, awesome. That can live in the handlebar bag if you want. And this has a bunch of other little tools, steering cables and things that hopefully you won't need to use. When you finished your ride, please leave everything as you found it, or better than you found it for the next rider. We're all in this together.